Coach, we uh, go on a road trip to Colorado, Utah after three straight games at home. How do you readjust to, to a tough road trip? Yeah, I mean, everything in the Pac-12 is tough, home or away, and I just think it's the same thing. You know, we, we just continue to really work hard individually with our team right now to to uh, get them improved with their skill sets and understanding of what it takes to play at this level and have success and um you know and get ready for a fun atmosphere right? both schools will have some good crowds and um you know they're very good teams so it'll be fun to get us out and play on the road a little bit more again i just talked about colorado a little bit your first opponent a tough matchup uh in the in the um, in the post you had a good good day against cal how do you adjust against another team. Yeah, I, you know, I was really proud of our team, uh, you know, with the Cal win. I thought we, we came with great energy. I thought that our front line really um, mixed it up defensively, and, uh, and and they were able to get some steals in the high post, and, and we got a lot of help with the double teams to get some deflections out and get into our running game, so that made it a lot easier. But I, I thought that that was the most consistent overall that our front line played all year, so uh, on both ends of the floor. So that was great to see. We just, still, we just need to take that and continue to make progress with step by step by step but it certainly brings an enormous amount of confidence I think to our front line uh, you guys have obviously had struggles on the road this year uh what do you think has led to that, and where can you improve to maybe be better on the road? You know, we've we've played really well on the road at times, and there's been times when we've played like you're not sure which team that is out there, you know, and stuff. So I think it's more of one, you have to go in with confidence. Two, you got to definitely understand the game plan, and three, just go out there and play hard. Don't worry about you know who's in the stands, who's not in the stands. You know, if you're a focused basketball player, you don't care where you play. You just want to play. Uh, another question here. Mm -hmm. uh you, what would you say about your team this year just battling through injuries and everything? Uh, you know, yeah, well, you know, in reality, when you look at this team, we started out and we certainly, um, you know, were poised, I thought, for uh, a good postseason run, you know, and we scheduled that way. And we started out just fine. I mean, you have to go back and, and you have to remember the Maryland game. I think Maryland's second or third in the country now. And, you know, we were right there with them, you know, on a neutral court um, after the night before just, you know, really manhandling uh, Nebraska. You know, and so, so you know, then the injuries came. But we're, we're actually into our third team, you know, if you will, just because of the way the injuries have occurred and the timing of it. But I, I think that there's a lot to be said about the character of this group. I think they're very resilient. I think that they, um, you know, they get disappointed, obviously, seeing teammates get hurt, especially the way some of the injuries have happened. And they feel bad that they're not out there with them. But at the same time, I think that they're start, you know, they're understanding that they, they have an opportunity now to really step up their playing time and their opportunity to play in the best league in America. And I think that they're accepting that, you know, um, you know, some are more ready than others. And, you know, the, the key is to get them all ready, you know. And as you guys saw on Sunday afternoon here against Cal, when they're all ready and playing hard, you know, we're right there and we're a good team. What can you say uh, specifically against the matchup against Colorado? Any matchups uh, that come to mind? That... Well, they're, you know, they're going to mix it up defensively. They are going to throw everything, including the kitchen sink, defensively at you. And as a team, we've got to really be mindful of what defenses they're in, be able to figure it out and attack. Because there's, there's certainly some good strengths to what they do, and there's some weaknesses. So if we can attack those weaknesses, I think that you know we're going to be in, in great shape. Um, I think the other thing is for us is that their you know, their guards shoot the ball very, very well. Um, so one of the things that I think we've continued to make great strides with is our defense. And one of the things that we want to do out of that situation is making sure anytime any players on the perimeter, whether that's in the high post, out the three point line, you know, anywhere, that we're you know, that we definitely have a presence of, of what we call tracing the ball, pressuring the basketball and don't let them have easy looks to the rim or easy looks inside to a high low game. Um, we've been pretty uh, we, we've really improved in that area and we're becoming more efficient that way. And if we can continue to do that Hopefully, we won't allow Colorado to and Utah to you know exploit us on their home rims. 
Do you guys feel this weekend you can, you can uh, gain some momentum back uh, for the absolutely. rest of the Absolutely, absolutely. You know, there's no doubt about it. It, You know, that's part of the beauty of playing the Pac-12 and in, in, in the number one conference in America is every, every night it's a great opportunity to go out there and prove yourself against the best, and everybody's the best in this league. And to, to continue to improve, and hey, you know, if things fall the way they, f they they can fall for us with great effort, great intensity, great team play, then we can get more Ws and keep that momentum going.